O oh God, when you went forth before your people, marching with them and living among them, the earth trembled, heavens poured out rain. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the memory of uh, Our Lady of Fatima. Um, the title Our Lady of Fatima is venerated because she appeared to um, the three shepherds children in Portugal in 1917, and yet her, con her appearance called us to conversion of heart, repentance of sins, and yet especially prayer, prayer especially the rosary. So the intention for today Mass, we pray for the repose of the soul of Manuel, Anna Victoria, Luis de Sousa, Juana, Fortunato Garcia, Nelson, Liz, Aneth Costa, Manuel, Isabel, Joe Ferrara, Teodore, Olivier. The deceased members of the Our Lady of Fatima Society, the intentions of the sick members of Our Lady of Fatima Society, intentions of Kim Kirkpatrick, so now let's acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, as Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O oh God, who made your people particular in your redemption, grant, we pray, that we may perpetually render thanks for the resurrection of the Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Paul left Athens and went to Corinth. There he met a Jew named Aquila, a native of Pontus, who had recently come from Italy with his wife Priscilla, because Claudius had ordered all the Jews to leave Rome. He went to visit them and, because he practiced the same trade, stayed with them and worked for they were tent makers by trade. Every Sabbath, he entered into discussions in the synagogue, attempting to convince both Jews and Greeks. When Silas and Timothy came down from Macedonia, Paul began to occupy himself totally with preaching the word, testifying to the Jews that the Christ was Jesus. When they opposed him and reviled him, he shook out his garments and said to them, your blood be on your heads. I am clear of responsibility. From now on, I will go to the Gentiles. So he left there and went to a house belonging to a man named Titus Justus, a worshiper of God. His house was next to a synagogue. Crispus, the synagogue official, came to believe in the Lord, along with his entire household, and many of the Corinthians who heard, believed, 
and were baptized. The word of the Lord. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord has revealed to the nations Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I will not leave you orphans, says the Lord. I will come back to you, and your heart will rejoice. Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, A little while, and you will no longer see me. And again, a little while later, and you will see me. So some of his disciples said to one another, What does this mean that he is saying to us? A little while and you will not see me, and again a little while and you will see me, and because I am going to the Father. So they, so they said, What is this little while of which he, is, he speaks? We do not know what he means. Jesus knew that they wanted to ask him, so he said to them, Are you discussing which one another what I said? A little while, and you will not see me. And again, a little while, and you will see me. Amen, amen, I say to you. You will weep and mourn while the world rejoices. You will grieve, but your grief will become joy. The Gospel of the Lord. Uh, the uh, faithful, the believer of Jesus Christ, we know that we experience different circumstances such as joyful, such as pain, such as anxiety, and yet happiness. That's because Jesus foretold the disciple when he announced his death to them and prepared them spiritually. So he announces that, okay, he will die, he will be will, uh, put to death, and yet he will resurrect again. And he foretold them that when that happened, they will sad, they will scare. But when things happened, they did not remember what Jesus told them. Yet Jesus was put to death unjustly on the cross. 
And when that happened, the disciples didn't remember the word of Jesus. So he was, they, they were nervous and they were scared and they were gathered in the locker room because they were afraid of those who put Jesus in death. And when Jesus appeared to them, they rejoiced again. Their sadness became joy. So for us, we follow Jesus. For the disciples at the times, we just look, they just look at the situation that Jesus would put to death and didn't remember the word of Jesus that he announced to them that he will resurrect again. So we ask ourselves today and pray and ask God to help us not to attach and look at the things that we can see, but we should play our heart and our mind in the things that is above, which is Christ. Because Jesus announced to us that our sadness, if we experience it right now, it will turn into joy when we see the Lord face to face. Today is the memorial of Our Lady of Fatima. So we pray that Mother Mary also help us as she appeared to the children and telling them that her message that to converse on heart and then repentance from sins and especially that prayer, that's very important, prayer, especially the prayer of the rosary. That's the message of Our Lady of Fatima for her children, the faithful of Christ, so that when we all have a one heart and one mind to convert from our sins, turn to the Lord, and in our prayer life, yet the Lord will be with us, and yet Mother Mary also help us in our earthly pilgrimage so that ultimately that we will be with her and with her son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Please rise. And the response for us is, May the Lord Jesus be our very life. May the Lord Jesus be our very life. God the Father has given us his Son from the resurrections of his people. Let us turn with confidence to the Father and say, May the Lord Jesus be our very life. As a pillar of fire, you lighted the way for your people in the desert. Through his resurrection, may Christ be today the light of our life. May the Lord Jesus be our very life. To the voice of Moses, you taught your people from the mountain. Through his resurrection, may Christ be today the light of our life. May the Lord Jesus be our very life. You fed your pilgrim people with your gift of manna. Through his resurrection, may Christ be today the light of our life. May the Lord Jesus be our very life. You gave your people water from the rock. Through his resurrection, may Christ be today the light of our very life. May the Lord Jesus be our very life. And we also pray for all the intentions that we offer Mass today. May the Lord Jesus be our very life. Father, may we always give you thanks for raising Christ our Lord to glory because we are his people and share the salvation he won. For he is living and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. 
put up the earth and work up my hands. It become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For to your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of my hands, it become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. The Lord accept the sacrifice as your hands. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of his holy church. May our prayers rise up to you, O Lord, together with the sacrificial offerings, so that, purified by your graciousness, we may be conformed to the mysteries of your mighty love through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is to be right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to lodge you yet more graciously when Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb, one slain, who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exhaust in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending out your spirit upon them, like Zufo, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together, Francis, our Pope, and Myron, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection 
and all who have died in your mercy. Manuel, Anna Victoria, Luis de Sousa, Juana, Fortunato Garcia, Nelson, Liz, Aneth Costa, Manuel, Isabel, Joe Ferreira, Teodoro, Teodoro, Teodore Olivia, the deceased members of the Our Lady of Fatima Society. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, so we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have blessed you throughout the ages, we may merit to call as your eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as the same heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from the trust, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter. But don't say the word, and my soul shall be
Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who restore us to eternal life in the resurrection of Christ, increase in us, we pray, the fruits of this Paschal sacrament, and pour into our hearts the strength of this saving food through Christ our Lord. Amen. San Michael, the archangel, defends us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snare of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Host, by the power of God, thwart unto hell Satan, and all the evil spirits who prowl by the world, seek and ruin of souls. Amen. Most sacred heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Immaculate heart of Mary, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Bernard, pray for us. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you. The Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. A blessed day to all of you. God bless.